this is a makeup journal, um, and in this one I want to talk about a pretty cool movie that I saw a couple of weeks ago, and that movie was The Prestige, it's directed by Christopher Nolan. It has two major characters, and I guess you could call them three, there's three major actors in it, and those are um, Michael Caine, Christian Bale, and Hugh Jackman. Um, but I was trying to think of, you know, kind of critiquing the movie and what made it so compelling to watch. It was a movie that I really enjoyed watching, and it was very thoughtful. And so I was just trying to figure out, like, how did the way that they made the movie, like, what was it that they did in making the movie and filming it that made it so, um, I can't think of another word other than compelling just so compelling to watch. So, I figured it's the way that they, the point of view that you see the movie, it's done between these two characters. You have Christian Bale's character and you have Hugh Jackman's character. And your first scene, just for starters, your first scene that you see in the movie is um, something that happened in the past. And then from that point forward, you're switching between two points of view and most of everything that happens in the movie has happened in the past. And you just see these past events in between Christian Bale's point of view and between Hugh Jackman's point of view. And they're just going back and forth. And you're trying to figure out what happened, um, like what is occurring in, um, like in the present tense part of the movie. What's like how, what led up to that point, what happened that um, had characters get to that point that's in present tense. Um, the way it was filmed, things keep on switching back and forth. You get Hugh Jackman's side of the story, then you get Christian Bale's side of the story, and it's just back and forth. And that really creates this like very suspenseful, it's like a calm kind of suspense, it's not like horror film suspense. But it's still like this element of surprise, suspense, and this mysterious element that just wants you, like, it makes the audience want to continue to watch it to see what happened and try to fit all the puzzle pieces together. And um, so, point of view and the way the film was shot, how it was formed together to create this, um, you know, this center event that occurs, and then all the puzzle pieces from different characters' perspectives fits together to create this event, um, but how they edit it to form everything together the way that you're seeing it, um, the, the way that the events are put out in the movie is what makes it so mysterious and um, so fascinating to watch and you just want to see it till the end to see how things happened and try to put together the mystery for yourself.